how we get on with Aldi's ghost pepper pigs in blankets cheers Welcome back to Rob's Homemade and more festive food reviews, Chris snacks, pigs in blankets, anything you can think of festive. I will be reviewing them over the Christmas period coming up. So today we have Ashfield Farms Aldi's. We've been shopping in the old Aldi. 12 ghost chili pepper pigs in blankets. They bring out these most years, I think they've done the last couple of years, and they've been really nice. The Reaper Pigs in Blankets from Iceland were poor quality sausage, and I didn't enjoy them at all. Even though they were hot, the quality of the sausage was terrible. Where Ashfield Farms normally smash their sausage. So we've got fiery British sausages wrapped in streaky bacon. There we go. 12 of them. We're probably going to cook them all off. I probably won't eat them all, <clears throat> but uh, I shall take them to work and uh, we can have a look and taste some of them at work as well. Seasoned pork with spices and ghost chilli filled into beef collagen casing wrapped in oak smoked streaky bacon. Sound lovely. Oven, gas smoke 6, 25, 30 minutes. There you go, that'll be done. Ingredients, 70% sausage. Pork, water, gluten-free crumb, rice flour, dextro, vegetable fibre, salt, caramelised sugar syrup, paprika extract, potato starch, salt stabilisers, dried paprika, ground cayenne pepper, nutmeg, ground black pepper, ground ginger, onion powder, garlic powder, crushed chillies, ghost chilli powder, doesn't give a percentage, uh, oak smoked streaky bacon and the beef collagen casings. Especially produced for Aldi's, so obviously Ashfield Farm always do Aldi's stuff. And I, I find Red Tractor certified pork, gluten free, freezeable, three chili rating. Yeah, three chili rating. We shall see about that. But I'm looking forward to it. Who doesn't like a picking blanket at Christmas? I mean, you'd have to be. I suppose the vegetarians won't like pigs in blankets, but any normal average meat eating person loves a good pig in blanket at Christmas. You've got to have at least four on your dinner area. Yeah? How many do you have on yours? Leave a comment below and let me know how many pigs in blankets you like on your Christmas dinner. I'd go at least four or five, easy, definitely 100%. I'll probably only get about two or three though. I'll have to pinch up other people's plates. So let's get to the work top, get these, uh, Ashfield Farm, ghost chilli pigs in blankets, cracked open in the oven and we'll be all good to go and eat hopefully. So we'll see you in a mo. So here we are at our trusty, trusty worktop. We have our baking tray, our pigs in blankets. We're going to grab a knife quickly so I can find one. We'll take that sticker off, slide that off. So I'm going to need that for later. Hopefully, we've got a peel here that doesn't work as usual. So we're just going to rack, rack the top off and then go one, two, three. Hopefully, we should all pop out. Yes, boy! There we go. We have our 12 Smell porky, smell meaty. I'm gonna arrange them quickly and neatly on the tray. So there we have it. Our 12 oh, ghost pepper pigs in blankets. Let's get these bad boys in the oven. And then hopefully in about 30 minutes, They'll be nice, golden, crispy, 
and ready to shove in me gob. So Merry Christmas and see you in about 30 minutes. Right guys, here we are. The moment of truth. Our oh, Aldi's ghost pepper pigs in blankets are done. Some of the bacons fell off, but I'm not surprised. I'm going to get these on a plate. I'm probably not going to eat them all, I'll be perfectly honest. Not because of the heat, but because there's 12 of them. And I'm not a pig. Well, I am, but not today. So here we are, guys. Aldi's ghost pepper pigs in blankets. You can smell the porkiness, you can smell the bacon, you can smell the streaky bacon, the smoky sausage. My mouth is actually watering, I cannot wait to go sit down and tuck into these because they're going to be amazing. I just know it. I don't know about the heat level, we will find out about that very, very soon. But I'll tell you what, let's go and sit in the front and let go and eat. Right guys, here we are, sat down. The crew is still here from this morning's video. Um, they want to put them away, so I just thought I'd leave them all on the settee. <coughs> and we're here for Aldi's Ghost Pepper Ashfield Farm Pigs in Blankets. No messing about it. There's 12 in a pack. I think there were a couple of quid, £2.50 maybe, I can't remember. But they're nice and crispy. People might say they're a bit burnt, but they're not. Bacon has to be crispy. The sausage has to be cooked. So let's see how we get on with the Aldi's ghost pepper. Pigs in blankets. Cheers. Crispy bacon, 100%. Good quality sausage is the key to these things. Like I said earlier, those Reaper pigs in blankets from Iceland, and Iceland normally smash everything out of the park, were poor last year, which is probably why I haven't been and got them again. I may, or I may not, do those again. Tasty sausage, crispy bacon, smoky. Well, at the moment, very, very little heat. Very, very little. It's not even touching a one, which is a, a massive shame. There's not even a tingle in the tang. Nothing <clears throat> as of yet for pig in blanket number three. The more hot as in hot hot because they've just come out of the oven. Like I've just said, it's not even touching a one. At least with the Reaper sausages, they were hot, even though they were crap. But these, and these, and the, these are the exact opposite. They're absolutely gorgeous pigs in blankets. With very little heat. I think this is number three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, this must be number four. Flavour rate, you get an eight. Because it's good quality sausage. You can taste the pork, the seasonings, the flavours. The bacon wrapped around the outside is nice and crispy. It's flavoursome, it's sweet and smoky. But there's, it's not even a one. So disappointed. Mm. 
like I said, the, the, the direct opposite of the Reaper ones. The Reaper ones are really hot, but tasted disgusting. These taste absolutely wonderful, but no heat. Oh, wow, there. Please, Ashfield Farm. I'm still going to give it not even a one. It's, it's as though it's trying, the heat's trying to get there, but there's just nothing at all. Such a goddamn shame. Oh, well. I've had six. I'm going to have one more. Then I should probably take the rest to work and just whack them in the mic and have them as I'm driving around as a little snack. Or I might even just give them to John and say, yeah, John, knock yourself out. But yeah, <clears throat> Ashfield Farms, Ghost Chili Pepper, Aldi's, Pigs in Blankets, get an eight for flavour. They're really tasty. The sausage is good quality, like I've just said, which is why I don't know if I'm going to get the Reaper ones from Iceland again. Um, the bacon's lovely. It's salty. It's smoky. It's lovely. But there's just very, very little heat. I've had more heat out of a crap chilli sauce than I've had out of that. That's such a, I'm so disappointed in those. I could eat the whole lot because they are that nice, but the heat rating is just not there at all, which is such a shame. But oh well, that's it. Oh, no, in fact, we'll have one more. So that was my review. Of Aldi, not even ghost pepper, not even chilli pepper, not even jalapeno, pigs in blankets. Like I said, eight for flavour, really tasty, really nice sausage, lovely bacon. But big fat zero for heat, a big fat zero for heat, hardly anything there at all. It's not even move my needle at all i don't know if it's because my tolerance is getting high again or they're just not that hot if you've had these all these pigs in blankets the ghost pepper ones before leave a comment below and let me know what you think let me let me know if you think they're hot or not so anyway thank you very much for watching smash that like button hit that subscribe button when you hit the subscribe button don't forget the notification bell click all and you will get every single notification from me rob of rob's homemade so for me rob and Aldi's Ashfield, oh, <coughs> excuse me, bit of bacon. Aldi's Ashfield Farms, Ghost Pepper, Pigs in Blankets. Once again, thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful build up to Christmas. Hope you're all happy and well. So continue to be that way and peace. Hey, the weather outside is frightful and the fire is so delightful. Since we've no place to go. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow It doesn't show signs